As tensions rise in Emmerdale, Dan Spencer, played by Liam Fox, has become more frantic over his missing daughter Amelia Spencer, Daisy Campbell, however this evening's double bill seemed to solve the mystery. Amelia's biological father Dad Spencer, Mark Jordan, was brought to the police station for questioning tonight, as it was revealed he may have been contacting her all along. The police officer revealed that Amelia had recently been active on a message board speaking to someone named Hellman 2009, and asking if she could come home. This online name was connected to Daz, and ultimately made him a suspect on her disappearance. However, Daz played dumb, and insisted he knew nothing about the messages. While the police officers couldn't prove anything, and let Daz go, they mused over the fact Amelia hadn't been spotted by any surveillance camera since her disappearance. Daz returned to Dan and explained what he was being accused of, and he didn't like it. As Dan was ready to pounce on Daz, the police arrived once more with some shocking news. Amelia had been spotted alive and well, and there was photographic evidence. An image was shown of Amelia walking around the streets nearby alongside an unknown hooded person. The police officer added that they think the newcomer is a woman. Although it looks like Daz had nothing to do with Amelia's exit, he still isn't out of the woods, and is still under suspicion. But was Amelia taken or convinced to leave? And by who? Dan began to look worried as the image was shown, so could he have something to do with it? As Dan was the last person to see Amelia before she disappeared, could they have agreed to let her leave after she found out her real father was Daz? Meanwhile, Sarah Sugden, Katie Hill, was told she has to be listed for a heart transplant following her health woes. This information left Debbie Dingle, Charlie Webb, extremely upset, who blamed herself for causing Sarah stress over the acid attack. But will Sarah survive this sudden heart failure? Emmerdale continues tomorrow at 7pm on ITV.